Hi dolls. Today I'm going to restore one of Barbie's biggest accessories, also known as Alan's boyfriend, also known as Ken. This is a first edition 1961 Ken who has had a really rough time, so I'll do my best to make him look better. I start by removing his filthy clothes and giving him a good scrub with my toothbrush and some dish soap. For the really filthy areas on his body, such as his legs, I used some pink stuff paste, which is an abrasive paste used for heavy duty cleaning. And I gave his clothes a really good wash as well. For the pen stain on his cheek, I used some benzoyl peroxide. After leaving it in the sun for a few days, the stain is gone. There is some paint missing on his eyebrows. Because red tone acrylics tend to bleed, I first seal the area with some varnish to prevent that. His lash line is severely faded, so I go over them with brown acrylic. And I paint over the whites of his eyes with an off-white acrylic. Once I'm finished with the painting, I seal everything with a satin varnish. Obviously, most of his flocking is gone, but what little is left, I remove with a dental cleaning tool. Then, I go over it to smooth it with a sandpaper block. What I'm looking for is a relatively flat area. I'm not looking to remove it completely. I then use some blue tack to protect his face up in preparation for the next step. I sprayed his head with a primer to ensure the best adhesion. The flocking kit comes with PVA glue, however, for some inexplicable reason, it is the washable kind. 
In my experience, this tends to peel off quite easily, so I use the normal kind instead. I begin by applying a thin coat all over his scalp. Then I apply the flocking. In my experience, this is the best way to apply it, as using a brush or any other tool just gets messy. The first layer is never perfect, but that's why we're gonna do three. Once all the flocking is applied, I tap it with my fingers to make sure all the areas are covered. When I'm confident I have covered everything sufficiently, I pat him violently a couple of times to knock off the excess. I then clean the fallout with a wet q-tip. His arms are a bit swingy, and his legs are more splayed than usual, so I first remove the arms. And I tie his legs closer together. Then I put them in a tub of boiling water. And that's all folks! If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram to stay updated. Thank you so much for following me, and I will see you soon.